Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Melissa stopping by to say hello. I am sure missing each and every one of you. Never forget just how much Jesus loves you and know that you are prayed for each and every day. I cannot wait until we are all back together again. Until then, take care of yourself and each other. Bye-bye! Hey everybody, thank you for joining me for this week's lesson. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you for anybody who donated, participated, um, was able to come out yesterday or in any fashion serving uh, for the pop-up pantry. It was an amazing experience and I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, in the heart of serving, I just wanted to also reach out to your families. If you have any, I just sent out a parent survey um, on our parent emails. If you're not getting those or you need the survey, you can't find it, please email me and I'd be happy to send that directly to you. But what I'm looking for is feedback from your families. How can we best serve you as a uh, Severn Kids Ministry? Um, let me know what you're using. Uh, if you have any ideas of how to improve things, there's space in there for that as well. Um, but I just really would love to hear from you because the more input I get, the better we can make all of this uh, whole new world that we're in. So um, that's first. That second is Father's Day is next week. So June 21st, the first day of summer, we are celebrating dads. I'd love to do the same thing we did for moms. Tell me what your favorite thing about dad is. Tell me what you think dad was like as a kid. Say happy Father's Day. Uh, and just send me those little video clips and we can put them together um, and just show dad how much we love him. So. If you have any, if you'd like to do that, I'd be taking submissions until about Thursday morning. I um, mean, you can always reach out to me if that's a problem, but Thursday morning, I'll be starting to make that film um, so we can just show dad that we love him so much. And yeah, so let's jump into this week's lesson and I'll see you right back here afterwards. God loves us and he gave his only son he is awesome Jesus nothing can stop him he's too strong yeah we're singing Jesus is alive he's alive oh yeah everybody celebrate Jesus is
it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. friends, and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and I had the best art project to work on today. But it's super windy outside, and something crazy just happened. The wind blew my circles all over the clubhouse, and now I need you to help me spy them all. Point when you see one. I spy with my little eye a circle that is blue and held by my cuddly friend. Do you see it? Yep, you're good. Hmm, what should I make with this one? It's blue, like water. Oh, I know. It's the whole world. That was fun, let's do another one. I spy with my little eye. <gasps> A circle that is brown, and wow, the wind blew it up high. Do you see it? Yes, you got it. Hmm, well, actually, this is kind of golden brown. Like my favorite food, nice and warm, right out of the oven. It's a pizza. On the count of three, shout out your favorite pizza toppings. One, two, three. Mm, those are so yummy. My favorites are pepperoni and peppers. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Hoo, hoo. Making tasty round treats, are you? There's so much fun stuff to make with circles. Crafting with circles is fun, it's true. I know a very special circle just for you. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? <laughs> They're my whole lot of love cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about someone special who loves us so, so much. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. <laughs> Today's amazing true story is about someone very special who did something only he can do. If you think you know who this very special person is, I want you to shout out his name. Yes, Jesus. Jesus is the very special person and I am going to tell you about the most amazing thing he ever did that only he can do. God sent his son Jesus to show us how to love each other and to be our friend forever. Wait, where did the heart go? We might need to play I Spy to find it. Get out your pretend binoculars and let's look for it. Ready? Tell me when you see the heart. I spy with my little eye. A heart! And look, it's showing us that Jesus taught us how to love others by being a good friend. Wait. Where did it go? Let's look for it. Ready? I spy with my little eye. The heart! Right there! <laughs> good job, everyone! And look, the heart is showing us that Jesus was a good friend to people who were different than him. <laughs> Not again! Where did it go? 
go now? Let's look for it. Ready? I spy with my little eye. <gasps> the heart! <laughs> it's showing us that Jesus was a good friend to everyone, even people who made bad choices. Jesus was a friend to everyone. One day, a very sad thing happened. Some angry people took Jesus away and hurt him so bad that he died. Jesus' friends buried him in a tomb and rolled a big stone in front of it. Jesus was gone and his friends were very, very sad. But on the third day, Jesus did something that only Jesus can do. Jesus came back. <laughs> Jesus is alive. Yes, Jesus is alive. Say that with me. Jesus is alive. One more time. <laughs> Jesus is alive. We know Jesus is alive because people saw him and talked with him. Then they wrote all about it so we can know and believe that Jesus is alive. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie, tell me. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive. And he's a friend forever to you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. Jesus wants to be a friend to everyone. That means Jesus wants to be my friend, and he wants to be your friend, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I spy with my little eye a circle that is gray and right behind me. I'm going to paint this so it looks just like the stone that was in front of Jesus' tomb. The stone got rolled away because Jesus is alive. written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. Never
Wow, Jesus is alive, and we know about it because people took the time to write down what they saw. I hope you guys are, whenever you're experiencing Jesus in your life, that you're sharing it with your parents, your friends, and your siblings, whoever you can share the news to. Um, write it down in a journal and color a picture about it. It's There's just no way uh, that you could ever do too much to express how much you love God and to keep his story going. So I hope you're sharing and um, let's thank God right now for all the people that shared with us. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend forever. Thank you that he came back just like you said he would. I pray that we all believe that Jesus is alive and choose to follow him. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week. Don't forget, Father's Day is next week, so I hope I get those videos from you soon. And uh, let's just have fun. It's summertime. Mm -hmm.